Today I'm quite near Hat Yai Airport. The airport is just a few kilometers that way. In the opposite direction is where you go to get to downtown Hat Yai. And just down this way, at this three-way intersection, is the Air Force Base. I haven't covered this part of Hat Yai in any of my previous videos, but I thought I'd do a quick update today because it's an area that has undergone massive change in the last 20 years. It's unrecognisable to how it was 20 years ago. When I first got to Hat Yai in 2003, I used to go to the airport fairly regularly. My brother was down in Singapore, so I go to visit him or I go up to Bangkok. And there's an intersection in Hat Yai called Ta Kian. And once you went past that, there was nothing. It was just a, a wasteland. There were no street lights. There was a very bad road. There were very few people living here. That is definitely not the case now. There's been a, a huge amount of development in the last 20 years. A couple of years ago, there was a project to upgrade this road. It took a couple of years. It was very inconvenient and now it's finished. I'm not sure if it was a, a good thing or a bad thing. It's nice to have a high quality road, but it just allows tyres to drive even faster than they usually do. They, they drive along this road at insane speeds. There are always accidents. The daughter of the foreman of my housing development was killed a few years ago. I heard the crash. I, I was um, at a swimming pool at the time supervising my kids near the road and I heard this huge crash and she died. And just this morning, I went to get my daughter some breakfast near here and there was another big accident. There are always accidents here and there are no deterrents. There are no speed cameras. There are never any police looking out for speeding and reckless drivers. And even the, the traffic ahead doesn't deter them. They just weave in and out of three lanes at very, very high speed. It's quite frightening to see what goes on. In this area previously, there was nothing. Now there's a, a big international school. And whereas before there were no hotels at all, there were just a few seedy sort of guest houses you could stay at, there are now several hotels. So let's go a bit further along the road and take a look. In the past, if you wanted to drive to Hat Yai Airport and leave your car, there was only the airport car park. A few years ago, lots of these parking businesses suddenly sprung up. I don't know how many there are, but it's probably in excess of a dozen. So you drive into one of these places, leave your car, they take you to the airport, which isn't far away. And when you come back, you just give them a call. They come on, pick you up at the airport and take you back to the, your car. It works really well and not too expensive. The fee is well under 100 baht per day. I've used the service several times and my, my wife just went to Bangkok at the weekends and used one of these services. They're really good. And it's nothing like the, the UK where there's a phenomenal charge for car parking. You know, it's normally 60, 70, 80 baht. It's very, very reasonable. On the main airport road from Hat Yai, there never used to be any petrol stations. Now there's Nesso petrol station and also a huge Tor Tor with restaurants. And there never used to be any hotels either. And in that section of the road, you, you'll find the Nachana Hills Hotel, which is a nice place. And this one, the Southern Airport Hotel, is the first hotel in, in the area near to the airport. And it's really nice. And they've, they've got a nice outdoor swimming pool in a garden setting. And even though some of the hotels in Central Hat Yai have swimming pools, there's nothing quite like this. It's a really nice place and I sometimes bring my kids here to go swimming. So let's have a, a quick look. Here's the hotel restaurant. And just outside is the swimming pool, which is very pleasant. I just had a quick chat with the um, reception staff and they told me that the rooms upstairs, it's like two stories, so the rooms upstairs are cheaper. They're 1,800. And downstairs, we've got sort of immediate access to the swimming pool. They're 2,400. It sounds a bit expensive, but normally um, the highest rates are walk-in or at rack rates. And it's generally a lot cheaper to book online, which is what I always try to do. 
yeah it's very very nice swimming pool and um you, you can use it if you're not a guest I, I bring my my kids here and a lot of other people bring their kids here and uh, on some days it's really busy so as i said you know hotel, some hotels in central hat you have got swimming pools but nothing like this it's a very nice setting this is the Southern Airport Hotel. And previously, if you, if you came in as a, a, a non-resident and wanted to use the swimming pool, it was 60 baht. And then it went up to 80. I'm not sure if it's gone up again. Ask. Kotor Krab. Ta my paktini yak chai sat wai nam. Giba krab? Basip. Okay, come, 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 come. Yeah, so the um, the fee for outside people, cop and crap, to use the swimming pool is still 80 baht. It's not bad actually. There are cafes and restaurants as well. This place, Khao Thom, which is boiled rice, Mat Nern Kum Tong. Now I've never been here, so I don't, don't know anything about it, but the place opposite, coffee craft we go to quite often good food and they do a breakfast and the coffee is really good here's another one of those car parking businesses as i said there are loads of them this one's just 50 baht a day which is absolutely nothing you know, if you go to heathrow or gatwick airport in the uk it's probably going to be 50 pounds or something a day i'm not sure these days but i, I know that all prices in the uk are extortionate Here's yet another one. I won't stop at every single business, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of how many there are. This one again is a, a mere 50 baht a day. And me bodyguard song salam bin. So I've got a service to send you to the airport and they will also pick you up and that's free. This is another airport that's opened in recent years. It's not as nice as the Southern Airport Hotel. I'm not sure there's a swimming pool, but no doubt it's um, a bit cheaper. Swadi Krab? Hong Kut Kunla Saurai Krab? Chai. Siroi Gao Sip Gao. And me, me, Hong Gi Bab Krab? Just. Chai. Okay, and Ta Ta Ma Gap Krab Krua. Me Hong Yai Go Ami? Hong 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 Okay, so my memory is getting terrible. I can, can't remember what people just told me. So it's uh, a single room, just 499 baht. And if you come with a family, you want to sleep four people, 1,300. So yeah, it's not, not as nice as the other hotel, but a lot cheaper. I only really come to this area when I'm going to the airport. And whenever I do come to this area, there's something new. And last time I was here, I can't remember seeing this. There's a, a huge building just being constructed. Not sure what it's gonna be. Maybe a hotel, maybe something else. Time will tell. And this land here is for sale. Sign here. Kai, sell. Tidin, Raka, Piset. So it's land sold at a special price. And it tells you how much, I'm not sure what 7-1-96.8 is. I guess one will be Rai and one will be Tarangwa. I'm not, not quite sure. And I guess that 30 or 40 years ago, land in this area, because it was such a wasteland, was really cheap. That is certainly not the case now. Land here is very, very expensive. This is the Signature Hotel. It was quite plush. I've not stayed here, obviously, because I live in Hat Yai. I don't tend to stay at hotels in Hat Yai. So I've never stayed here. I have eaten here. 
uh, once the restaurant is very nice they had a, a 5,000 baht steak on the menu and I've just seen a sign and the, the construction that we just saw is phase two of this hotel and there's quite a big cafe Amazon just next door this is the restaurant inside the signature hotel it's very large very nice as I say I've only eaten here once I just took a quick look at the menu uh, the Thai food is, is quite reasonable I couldn't find the 5,000 baht steak that I saw last time so I don't know if that's been taken off the menu or whether it's a special order it's actually a very plush hotel very near to the airport and because of the, the high quality I'm not expecting it to be cheap but I'll just go and ask how much the rooms are out of interest Hotel Club Hong Kukun La Kibar Club Chai Or Mi Rai Gan Okay 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 Kokkian Club Okay so there's two prices There's one, one price for Monday to Thursday And another price A higher price from Friday to Sunday So it goes from like midweek, the cheapest room, 1850 and the most expensive room at the weekend, 4500 It's still, still not bad, I guess, you know, compared to um, Bangkok. And uh, once again, this is probably the most expensive way to book the hotel by just walking in. You, you can no doubt find better deals online. The hotel also owns a couple of vintage vehicles. Here's an old fire truck and I just passed an old pickup truck. So that was the signature hotel near Hat Yai Airport. If you have a need to stay very close to the airport and you want to stay in a very comfortable hotel, this is the perfect place. Just outside the airport, in addition to the car parking businesses, there are also car rental places and you can even rent an electric car if you want and inside the airport there are several desks where you can rent cars from the the big car rental companies so today i'm not going to go inside the airport you can see the entrance just up there where that yellow gate is when i went to bangkok last year i did a video and part of that video was the inside of hat Yai airport there's not much to see it's just the same as any other airport it was upgraded a few years ago, so it's a lot bigger now than it used to be. I'm just going to go back to where I started on the other side of the road and point out a few things that might interest people. And as I said, the development around this area has, has been phenomenal in the last few years. And every time I come here, I see something new. And the last time I was here, I saw this brand new 7-Eleven that didn't used to be here. This is yet another hotel that's only appeared fairly recently and outside they're offering transfers to Lipe Island. A lot of people who want to visit Lipe Island, which is supposed to be very nice, I haven't been there yet, flying to Hat Yai and then they want a the convenient way to get there from the airport. So this place is doing trips, 951 way, 1800 return and it's Rot so it's the uh, the bus or van plus Rua plus the bolt to Lipe let's just go and find out how much they want in this hotel so I crop wrong wrong ram bung bung per my crop get get the now crop bad bad do okay and Hong Kun Kun La Tao Rai crop Jeb Roy Hasif, oh my, my pang. Ruam Ahan Chow, do I? My, my Ruam. Okay. Okay, cup to mark up. So I'll up. Okay, so it's been open eight months and uh, rooms are 750, but no breakfast. Previously, I did a video about a restaurant called Glom Glom, which is a, a really nice place. And it's just down this little road here. That black sign up there says 
run Ahang Glom Glom. So if you're coming from downtown Hat Yai along the airport road and you want to go to that restaurant, this is a sign to look out for. So when, when you see that, turn right. The big sign here in orange says Ran Ahan Donya, which is another restaurant called the Donya. So let's go and have a quick look. I've been coming here to eat and buying takeaway food for about 14 years. And over the years, I've got to know the owner quite well. Whenever we go in, he always comes over for a chat. I believe he's ex-Air Force and he spent a huge amount of money on this place. There's been a, a lot of upgrades and it's a lot bigger now than it used to be. The food is good and the service is very good. Uh, as a result, the prices did go up and then it became very quiet. It used to be very popular, then it went very quiet. And judging by how busy Glom Glom is these days and how quiet this place is, I think a lot of the old Donya customers started going to Glom Glom, which is a bit of a shame. But this is still a very nice place. I mentioned renting electric cars and this place here just seems to rent electric cars. So the sign up here, Rot is vehicle, Chow not to rent, Fifar is electric. And they've got the I think solely these Netta cars and um, prices. Okay, so Ming Ming Wan. Uh, one day, 1,000 baht. Uh, Sam one Kumbai. So more, more than three days, it's 900 baht. And Mung Sapada Kumbai. So more, more than one week, it's 800 baht a day. So the, the longer you rent the car, the cheaper it becomes per day. And with all this development around the airport, there's also new house construction. There are also some old developments around this area, old Mulbans as they're called, that have been here years, but they're also building a number of new developments. So here, there's, looks like three house types. They've got like a, a bungalow, single story bungalow, then a two story semi-detached house, and a detached house. And Rum Don means starting from. So the bungalows start from 2.89 million baht. The semi-detached from 2.99 million baht. And the detached houses start from 4.19 million baht. And yeah, they look quite good. So uh, because the last video I did about new houses was quite popular, I think I'll just have a quick mooch around this uh, development to see what's happening. This development is called Tinagon Village. Uh, it's quite big, quite a few houses. Some are still under construction and some look as if they're finished. I'm not sure if there's a, a show home. If there is, I might be able to take a look around. And one of the nice things, that the sign is on the main road, but to get here, you have to come about um, half a kilometre. So it's far enough away from the main road not to be noisy. It's a very busy road and it gets very noisy. Yeah, it's quite nice. The road is quite wide. These are the semi-detached two-storey houses and a bit further along I can see the single-storey bungalows. The, the houses look to be almost finished but there's no sign of anyone actually living here yet. And um, I'm not sure if there is a show home. If there is, um, I'll stop and ask for a look around. If there's not, I'm just going to end the video. These are the detached houses. There's a little grassy area here in the middle. And it looks as if just one of those bungalows is occupied. There are curtains up at the windows and there are boxes outside where TVs have been delivered. But um, the guy who lives there is going to be quite lonely at the moment with no neighbours at all. So just, just one house occupied. This area around Hat Yai Airport is really booming these days. 20 years ago, you'd only come here if you wanted to go to the airport, but nowadays lots of people want to be here. The downtown area is full and there are flooding problems, although those problems have got a lot better in recent years. In this area, there's still lots of vacant land and because it's on high ground, there aren't so many flooding problems. I hope at least you found some of that useful. Thanks for watching.